two propanoid is converted or formed, and this is propionic acid fermentation. And two propionate uh, are the um, product. Uh, two propionate and acetate are the products of this uh, fermentation. As we can say that the overall reaction in overall reaction we can say that two three lactate is converted into two propanoid acetate carbon dioxide water and three to five atp molecules at second step when pyruvate is converted into acetate atp molecule is formed three pyruvate is converted into acetate one pyruvate is converted into acetate and two pyruvate is converted into oxalate so we can say that uh, if the um, pyruvate molecules are higher in number atp molecules are more in number when converted into acetate then fumarase is converted into succinate in the fifth step one atp molecule is formed two fumarate convert into two succinate Two ATP molecules are formed. Uh, first and two, one is formed in acetate formation, and one is two is two are formed in succinate formation. So three molecule ATP molecules are formed in this fermentation, and coenzyme transfer is also takes place. Coenzyme is used, then it is removed, then it is again used in this process. In this process, dehydration and hydration is also takes place. At first step, dehydration when oxalate convert into malate hydration, then again hydration takes place in this reaction. Now we move in the next type that is diacetyl and 2,3-butylene glycol fermentation. In this fermentation, the last products are diacetyl and 2,3-butylene glycol fermentation. Butane diol, diol fermentation can be carried out by the genera Anteriobacter, Hafnia, and Ciratia. These are the microorganisms that can be used to perform this type of fermentation. And in this fermentation, double decoxylation process takes place. At first, citric acid is converted into pyruvic acid and acetyl methyl carbon. Then, acetyl methyl carbon is converted into two things. The first is diacetyl. Number second is 2,3-butylene glycol. We can say that citric acid only used in this fermentation at previous types we cannot see citric acid is present now we move other type that is alcoholic fermentation it is also known as uh, ethanolic fermentation in this fermentation the ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide is formed that that so it is called ethylonic fermentation sugar is converted into small molecules and it is a fermentation we can say in discovery slide it is first discovered glucose is converted into two pyruvate two pyruvate is converted into two acetyl uh, sorry acetaldehyde then two acetaldehyde is converted into two ethanol in this process, dehydration, hydration, uh, ATP molecule formation, and decoxylation takes place. At first step, when ATP molecules are formed, dehydration takes place. When two pyruvate are converted into a two acetyl aldehyde, decarboxylation takes place. Then hydration takes place and formation of to ethanol and carbon dioxide molecules. And this is carried out by yeast. It is a fungi. Next is from butyric acid fermentation. It is also the type of fermentation in which the last product is butyric acid. Glucose butyric is converted into butyric acid and acetic acid. In glucose, six carbons are present. Four carbons are formed in present in butyric acid, and two carbons are formed in acetic acid, and six carbons are 
ब्रेक डाउन इन टू फोर एंड टू स्टार्च और कन्वर्ट एट फर्स्ट ग्लूकोज देन पायरावेट देन एसिटाइल कोइंजाइम ए एसिटो एसिटाइल कोइंजाइम ए बीटा हाइड्रोक्सी ब्यूटाडाइल कोइंजाइम ए क्रोटोनाइल कोइंजाइम ए ब्यूटाडाइल कोइंजाइम ए ब्यूटाडाइल फॉस्फेट एट लास्ट ब्यूटेरिक एसिड इन दिस पाथवे वी कैन से डेट कोइंजाइम इज आल्सो यूज्ड इन दिस पाथवे at uh, coenzyme is added in py when pyruvate is converted into acetyl coenzyme a then it is removed when butyryl is converted into butyryl phosphate then it is again used in this process cyclically used in butyric acid at we can see in previous propionic acid fermentation now what is fermenter or bioreactor fermenter is a basic equipment or instrument used in fermentation on a industrial scale or a large scale it contains a media to carry out fermentation media means to create the environment by change, by monitoring ph temperature carbon dioxide other factors that are used in fermentation for carried out fermentation fermenter or bioreactor the fermenter term fermenter or bioreactor are used interchangeably there is a difference present between both that is fermenter is used only microbial cells means it is used only microorganisms but in bioreactor all types of cells are used means in bioreactor instrument we use all the types of cells means plant mammalian animal microbial all the types of cells are used to culture and to carry out fermentation fermentation is a process but fermenter is a instrument or uh, that provide the environment to take place fermentation fermenter are used to mediate biochemical reaction by microbial cells at below at first microorganism or biomolecule are added into bio if we add it into bioreactor the raw materials carbon source energy source other nutrients growth factors is present when they are added into fermental process variable controls ph control temperature control agitation control aeration control gases are controlled then the products are formed they are purified they are stored then they are packed the fermentation process takes place in fermenters or bioreactor by but the whole process is carried or composed of many steps there are, these are the six steps that are present that are used to for the process of fermentation number one is medium preparation at first we prepare the medium for the production of for the production of desired product or for taking fermentation for the growth of biomass and production of the final product we prepared a medium that is monitored that is easily form the product healthy that is pure that easily convert the desired product on large scale sterilization in fermentation in every process we need sterilization uh, without sterilization we cannot take the product in pure form so sterilization is a best process sterilization is co is complicated many type many form many process in many processes medium sterilization as well as all associated equipment to ensure aseptic environment aseptic means 
contamination free environment inoculation inoculation is a third step in inoculation or microbial sample preparation inoculation is also called microbial sample preparation it is prepared from pure culture in and in appropriate concentration which can produce the product in de defined time due to inoculation we produce the desired product in a particular time in a defined time or we recorded the time that in this time the product is formed so inoculation helped the four stages production stage we um, the production stage means the product is formed under controlled conditions control condition in controlled conditions ph temperature carbon dioxide level other systems that are operating system other uh, factors are also needed are also controlled downstream process downstream process to separate in production process product is formed then product is separate by downstream process then it is purified again purified then packaging of formed material that is formed desired material that is desired it is packaged at last the treatment and disposal stage the treatment of this, uh, the waste that are formed in the fermentation process takes place at this step and disposing of effluents means wastes that are formed in these products are contamination things contaminated substances that are formed in this uh, steps or system uh, in this process are treated what is inoculant development at first we see uh, we seen below uh, my when microbial strain microbial strain is a pure culture it is uh, mixed with culture medium Mi mixing takes place then the uh, cells that are mixed they are dividing rapid dividing is a log phase and when dividing stops it is a stationary phase and these uh, uh, divided then they are stored in minus 20 degree celsius means at very low temperature then check its pr uh, purity and they are pure not contaminated environment is present at last appropriate dilution to prepare inoculum and ready to transfer to fermental then inoculum is prepared and easily transferred to fermenter dilution is also takes place in inoculum some things are present in inoculum that are uh, explained in this slide um, in points at first inoculum is healthy and pure it is pure to perform the reaction inoculum should be in suitable morphologic form means it it is um, formed in those form that easily convert our product you know inoculum must be free from any contamination not any uh, contamination is present in the inoculum and appropriate performing appropriate metabolic reaction to form the product inoculum is a, is a microbial seed preparation from a culture medium pure culture then easily inoculum is used to perform the reaction and product perform the desired product if our inoculum is best then the product desired product is pure quality um, has great quality and great quantity next one is downstream process in previous slide we say that in downstream process packaging purification and separation takes place at first separation it is below the down, uh, production stage Production media is collected from 
mechanical cell disruption in the cell disruption outside cell disruption then centrifugation and filtration again takes place liquid portion is separated uh, now uh, evaporation distillation precipitation that they, these are the purification steps takes place and then we take the desired concentration of the product then chromatography and chemical methods takes place to purify the product purification and storage now store the product it is the downstream process for the isolation or for the separation of our desired or formed product now the diagram of uh, in industrial scale that bioreactor that is used at first we see that medium preparation takes place sterilization takes place then inoculum de development these stages are takes place after adding the uh, sorry before before adding the these all three stages takes place as first then the inoculum is formed that is uh, purification and uh, purified that is contaminated free pure healthy and other factors are present in it it is added in the bioreactor or fermenter ph monitor uh, is present in bioreactor temperature monitor is also present cooling water out and cooling water in we store the inoculum or divide when uh, cell are divided at minus 20 degrees celsius at means at high temperature uh, sorry at low very very low temperature is needed so we use the cooling water not hot water ring of air outlets ring of air outlets for the reaching of every uh, glucose molecules or cells into the glucose molecules for the easily conversion steerer pedal is also present steerer is also present for steering the material nutrients in nutrients in in these the reactants in acid bases are also in in it sterilized air is also in it added in it sterilized air means it is contamination free gases are out that are formed in this reaction these are carbon dioxide etc antibiotics out now the factors affecting fermentation there are eight factors that affecting fermentation number one temperature ph at um, bioreactor diagram we see that temperature monitor and ph monitor is present nature and composition of medium nature and composition of medium means inoculum purification and composition dissolved oxygen in fermentation we see uh, that in it is without requiring oxygen so we remove the oxygen dissolved carbon dioxide cooperation uh, system or operating system that are three types batch fat batch continuous i will be explain in the next slides feeding with precursors precursors means microbial cells or inoculum that are formed by microbial cells and culture media mixing mixing and shear rate in fermenter the in fermenter main type of agitation takes place so it also depend in the system if the mixing is not proper takes place so the product desired product is not take uh, is not formed in large amount contamination free so mixing is also very important in fermentation 
now what is operating systems continuous fed batch batch there are diagrams are also present now com batch is commonly used relatively slow sorry relatively slow substrate utilization rate low risk of contamination and strain mutation means uh, it is contamination free it is mutation free not any changes is formed in the product not the product is pure healthy is formed in batch process in fat batch process best during substrate inhibition when we inhibit substrate it is best or catabolite repression repression it is also best prolonged log and stationary phase means dividing cells is all is prolonged and uh, after the log stage there is a next stage that is a stationary phase, phase. in this phase the cell division is stopped it is also prolonged in continuous less realization in re inoculation less maintenance cost it has less cost for, for maintain faster substration sorry substrate utilization rate and it has faster utilization list between batch and fed batch there is effective fed batch because concentrated substrate utilization it means that fed batch is best than batch and continuous is best than fed batch large metabolites production during stationary phase metabolites that are used in downstream process intracellular and extracellular they are formed in large amount in fed batch continuous is best than fat batch because it has high productivity and reduce butanol inhibition it reduces inhibition but it has high productivity that is very important we need high productivity so continuous is best then fat batch and fat batch is best than batch now types of fermenter there are two types of fermenter are bioreactor on the basis of cells on the basis of agitation there are also two types first i will be discuss about types about the cells so number one is submerged fermenter spotted growth fermenter Spotted growth ferment are divided into two: fluidized bed reactor and coherent moving beds. Then coherent moving beds are uh, are has two types: tray or film reactor. On the basis of agitation, there are two types: mechanically stirred fermenters, forced convention fermenters. Force convention fermenters are divided into two: bubble column fermenters, air lift fermenters. Submerged fermenter and spotted growth fermenter. There, I will be discussed about the types of fermentation on the basis of cells. It is these are the types on the basis of cells. At first, submerged fermenter. Submerged fermenter is freely suspended. in the culture medium to grow and production of product it is freely suspended but in spotted not freely suspended uh, microbial uh, cells or inoculum need a spot or a surface to culturing or for culturing agitation in medium provides movement for the mixing of air gases a low better content contact between cultured cells and substrate it has better content because it is freely moved freely suspended but in spotted growth fermenter the freely suspension is not present but it has is a advantage in 
exported better addition high product yield is also present because in submerged fermenters when cells are freely suspended the contamination is also formed cells are easily moved and the contaminated product desired product to purification is also needed and is not easy um, and separation and uh, other storage is also needed so uh, the supported growth fermenter is best because in this process the fermentation uh, sorry the purification storage or separation is easily takes place we easily isolate because these cell are only cultured on a spot or on a surface in submerged they easily moved in the fermenter the the separation is not easy or is difficult in submerged and now is coherent bad moving there are two types of submerged sorry spot spotted bioreactor number 1 is coherent number 2 is fluidized i will be discuss about fluid uh, sorry coherent the, this is another type of spotted growth reactors in which the cells are attached on 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 any surface and the culture liquid is allowed to con come in contact with the cells they they cultured on any space surface according to the culturing of space on any uh, on space on specific surface it has two types it, first one is tray reactor number second is film reactor tray reactor this is an a closed system of trays mounted on a shaft microbial film is being developed over these trays from from the upper side liquid culture medium is drained over these trays and filled in them the overflow medium is collected at the bottom and again recirculated at film reactor in this type the microbial film is developed on hollow tubes and placed vertically in tray reactors the trays are placed in horizontally but in film reactors the hollow tubes are present or placed in vertically the medium is circulated through these tubes either from top to bottom and bottom to top the main advantage of this type is better ration in tray reactor the better ration is not takes place the liquid uh, is drawn from upper side when extra liquid is present it is uh, move in the down side then it is again uh, move up side then again move in the down side the better addition is not expressed when it moves top to bottom bottom to top then it is best addition now fluidized bed reactor in fluidized bed reactor it is similar to column reactors but the upper part is more vital we can see that in diagram to minimize the liquid flow speed the microbial cells are grown on any spherical spot like glass balls or any porous material suspended in a liquid media spot with microbial cells microbial cells spotted in it from the bottom we see that air jet is present or gas jet in bottom the gas is introduced or air is introduced the ball moves upward the flow of gas and density is adjusted uh, the gas the flow of gas molecules and and the density uh, is adjusted because the balls are not thrown outside the instrument or outside the fluidized bed reactor the liquid and the gas pressure are not much low such low that the balls are settled down at the bottom of the reactor in this paragraph uh, the, the, 
dumb the explanation is that the our bioreactor our balls uh, in fluid dye spat reactor our balls in that sport with microbial cells they are present in between the bioreactor not in upper soil not moving in upper not moving in blue bottom they move or they freely move in the center for uh, so we adjust the density gas flow pressure liquid pressure this type of reactor provides better contact of gas with it is best for but uh, contact of gas with microbial cells when we contact with uh, the gas with microsoft cells we use the fluidized bed reactor if we take the liquid or liquid um, contact with uh, microbial cells then we don't use fluidized bed reactor we only use for fluidized bed reactor when we contact the gas with microbial cells now this is a submerged fermenter diagram uh all for submerged fermentation diagram uh, and all the process of fermentation is present in it or the six steps we did at previous slide are present in it at first media preparation that is medium preparation then sterilization that is and that's why our environment is contamination free then move into the then inoculation formation um, and inocul inoculum preparation inoculum move in the fermenter and uh, then the when the fermenter form the our desired product it is sterilized separated it is separated sterilized purified uh, cell recovery product recovery takes place then we dispose the waste or tre treated the waste or disposal that are formed in this process this is a industrial diagram of submerged fermentation bio process control um, by by using control of microorganisms we use bio process control next is mechanically stirred fermenters it is a agitation type uh, uh, in this type the they flow the structure of basic structure uh, fermenters as they contains all basic parts of parts of a typical fermenter and a mechanical stirrer in center to agitate the media filled inside fermenter the impellers are present in this uh, in this diagram mechanical stirrer is also present in it so it is called mechanical stirred fermenters can and this agitation is necessary or is needed for the mixing of field material heat transfer mass transfer and appropriate mixing of gases in media due to the addition of mechanical stirrer uh, in agitation so uh, it is the type on the basis of agitation the agitation proper uh, transfer of heat and mass mass and mixing of gases and mixing of our material we need uh, this um, we need mechanical stirred fermenters in this diagram we can say and see that um, um, it is a cylindrical shape and volume is more than 30 to 50 percent because at uh, in this reaction in this fermentation these side products are also formed contamination environment is also formed foam are also formed gases are also formed they are moved to upward and we can easily then uh, or we can easily uh, perform this reaction so we Uh, we needed a space on the upper side or upper head 
In these are upright cylindrical shape from mantles and selected the volume which is to be filled in it because the upper head space is required for gases and foam which is produced during fermentation. Next one is force convention uh, fermenter. It is a second type of uh, per, um, fermenter on the basis of agitation. In these types of fermenter, the agitation is achieved through the movement of liquid and gas molecules by using pump. In this fermentation, we, not, we are not using the mechanical pillar impillers. We are using the pump. It has two types. Number one is bu um, bubble column reactor or sprayed gas fermenter. It is a simpler type of convection fermenter. The height is three to three times of the diameter. Next one has more diameter height than bubble. The gas usually air is sprayed or introduced through the sprayers fitted at the bottom of the fermenter. At the, we can see in the diagram, at the bottom of fermenter, there are a comb-like structure. They are sprayed. There are the sprayers and spargers, spargers that are used to spray the air or gas at uniform distance. When the gas molecules are air move upward, it creates the agitation in the medium. Jet of spots that are even distributed all over bottom to create uniform agitation throughout the in uh, media. These fermenters have no mechanical image, so they need less energy. When we need it, when we uh, Mix, we needed to proper mixing of uh, gases, proper mixing of ga uh, proper transfer of mass heat, and then we use the mechanical steroid. If we, uh, uh, but uh, mechanical steroid has a disadvantage. In, in mechanical steroid, high amount of energy is needed, but in force convection fermenters, not a high amount of energy is needed. It creates the agitation with uniform environment or homogeneous agitation by the liquid and gas movement. Next one is air lip fermenters. This, this is the second type uh, of the force convection. The height is around 10 times. That means at the first, the height is three times, then the diameter, the movement of media is achieved by changing its density. We changing in the density and this process takes place. At first, the density is reduced, then uh, high, then when riser is added, then density reduces, and then again density is hide. When the gas, the gas is introduced at a specific area called riser the presence of gas in the form of bubbles reduce the density of liquid media and this less density media moves upward at the top the gases gets separated from the liquid and due to this liquid gets higher density and move downward this creates a cyclic movement in liquid causes agitation in this diagram, we can see that uh, in riser at the bottom, riser is present in the riser, the gas molecules are mm, moving or introduced uh, in the system. They are moving uh, with the liquid. Uh, they decrease the uh, density of the liquid. Then the liquid easily move upward when moving upward when gas leaves the liquid uh, then liquid molecules have high density at uh, high density then mole liquid molecules are moved 
again in the downward then uh, this uh, cyclic movement repeated in this steps takes place repeatedly at first density high at center density low at last density again high due uh, of the liquid molecules when density is low liquid molecules move easily upward then density is high they are moved in the downward gases are used to uh, change the density of the liquid molecules and it is a cyclic movement in a liquid this causes agitation next one is the product of fermentation there are the many products of fermentation that are formed by using many bacteria many organisms we form different types of products and with using these products we form our daily life uses things at first when glucose is converted into pyruvic acid the removal of hydrogen hydrogen takes place it is a dehydration then pyruvic acid is converted into six different things at first propionic bacterium is used it convert into carbon dioxide and propionic acid these all the hydration process they are needed hydrogen at second pyruvic acid needed aspergillus lactobacillus streptococcus they are form the lactic acid they are form lactic acid homo fermentative and lactic acid hetero fermentative uh, it depend upon the microorganism or the environment pyruvic acid at third uses the saccharomyces saccharomyces they convert into carbon dioxide and ethanol saccharomyces seeds is a yeast it is a fungi pyruvic acid is uh, using the cyclostridium it convert into acetone and isopropanol then pyruvic acid is used the ascrescia acetobacter it convert into acetic acid at first is propionic acid fermentation next one is lactic acid fermentation number third is ethanolic fermentation number fourth is pro acetone fermentation or other fermentation number fifth is acetic acid fermentation uh, we will discuss about this fermentation then by using propionic acid swiss cheese is formed lactic acid fermentation cheddar cheese yogurt soy sauce is formed carbon dioxide and ethanol wine and beer are formed acetone and isopropanol nail polish remover rubbing alcohol is formed acetic acid vinegar is formed by use um, um, by forming the products carbon dioxide propionic acid lactic acid ethanol they are used in the laboratory in many processes in many reactions they are mostly acid and acid is very needed in the reaction for in the chemistry in the chemistry lab they are used uh, in chem in lab in many reactions and they are also used in the daily life things in the formation of daily life things so we can say that fermentation is a very important important process because it need it is used for the formation of things in our daily life and it is the products that are formed they are used in industry and it are also in this process the energy is also released that is used in many processes uh, in our body fermentation is also takes place it is a lactate fermentation when oxygen level is down in our body um, due to high exercise due to other things the lactate fermentation takes place lactic acid is formed in our body and the formation of atp that is lower than the uh, aerobic fermentation or aerobic 
reaction because uh, um, reaction but it is uh, it is formed um, and it is easily used uh, in our body so it is very important it can be form performed in our body also and in naturally and in man made in artificially it also takes place so it is very important now there are the references of uh, this all the material number first it stand buri pf a whitaker and s j hall 2000 principles of fermentation technology second edition butter fourth he in men oxford schuller ml and f corgi 2002 bio process engineering basic concepts second edition apprentice hall upper cedar river nj they are uh, these are both the books uh, and number 3 is lee ch 1989 fish fermentation technology korean j applied microbiology and bioengineering 176 this is also a book of uh, lee ch Daniel I C et al. 1979 Fermentation and Enzyme Technology. John Wille and New York. At last, Wille J M. Shriyu Ward. L M. 2008 Microbiology Seventh Edition. M C Grew. Grew Hill. 1067 to 1069. It is also a book. these are the references that are used to forming this slide to forming this presentation now thank you so much any questions i think you all we know about the fermentation the importance of fermentation the significance of fermentation the worth of fermentation why fermentation is very important in our daily life and what is fermentation um, be, uh, why it is why it is important um, uh, which things which type of fermentation takes place at first we know about alcoholic lactic acid but i explain about the other types uh, mostly and i also explain the fermenter bioreactor the steps that are used in for performing fermentation on industrial scales and explain the operating system all the things i think we all i explain all the things and all the people easily explained it uh, easily explained it now and thank you so much